Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonah. And I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I have a story about something that happened in uh, France today. So uh, by mon- by the Monday when this comes out, spoiler alert, this is Friday. So it is uh, Friday, July 26th, year of our Lord. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen over the weekend. But this morning at... It was every, like today was the opening ceremony for the Olympics mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, in France. So this morning there was, I don't want to call it a terrorist attack, oh, but no. they don't know who is responsible. I don't think anybody has come out yet, but by Monday, maybe they will. What happened? There is, there's four rail lines, like electric train lines coming into Paris. Mm-hmm. And there was like a map and like right at like very specific points on them. It, it, the the information was pretty vague when I was looking it up, but there was fire set to safety cables. That's really all it said, and it said that it it delayed all of the trains and they wouldn't get back to the regular schedule till Monday. And granted, this is when like hundreds of thousands of people are trying to get to Paris via train, right? Yeah. So it was like, uh, and they foiled safety. one of the. One of the things, because there was four attempts, three of them were successful, one was not. What were they attempting to do? Is they were point? like burning safety cables, so the oh, train couldn't run. There were fires set Arson. to safety yes. cables. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I'm seeing. Which, okay. I'm. I don't know if it stopped there. it completely, but what it said was, um, it said an intelligence source said that the their the. the French intelligence are fully mobilized to find who's responsible, but it they don't know who is behind it. They said it, the travel on the affected lines is very disrupted, and it said disruptions with estimates could impact around 250,000 travelers today, uh, affecting over 800,000 over the weekend because it wouldn't be back to full functioning till. So, like, it leads me to believe, like, who knows what else is going to happen? They've already, they're already trying to screw with the Olympics. They don't. No one's claimed responsibility. <laughs> they're trying to screw. With but the Olympics. you know what it is. Whenever you get the, a world stage, right? That a lot of people are together. Countries are coming in together. It's a perfect tar- time to try to cause turmoil amongst the world, yeah. right? Because I suppose if you're a terrorist or some sort of like hate monger, I just kind of feel like who who's been really messing with the Olympics. Like I don't know if this is like a reoccurring thing, but like has there been any? Attempts like this in any prior Olympics? I mean, I'm not they sure. probably wouldn't announce it if there was. I mean, there was but a they bombing. announced this one. There was a bombing and bombing at the '96 Olympics. Oh, that's true. That's true. So I mean, it's a. Uh, there, people were saying like, I think I guess Israel came out and said it was Iran, and Iran was like, "You don't know what you're talking about." So like, I don't know. I just think like when the world the world gets together on a world stage, and then and people were obviously like making like jokes that it was Russia because. Russia was disinvited from the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. You know, like they're mad. Yeah, yeah, get out of here, Russia. But I don't know why everyone can't just be like, yo, let's play some sports. Uh, Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, like, I'd have to know the mind of the, the person who would coordinate setting fires to railroad tracks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what that does, but like, what do you get for that? Do you get like, does your gang pat you on the back or something? They're all that? like, you slowed down traffic for the weekend, yeah, bro. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I don't know, man. How do you feel about the Olympics in general? How do I feel about the Olympics in general? John, I would have to say is that I genuinely do not care about the Olympics whatsoever. Okay. Is there any Olympic sport that you enjoy? Uh, I like the, the gymnastics, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. And it's the I like the Summer Olympics a lot because there's a lot of cool events. So it's like, obviously, I play beach volleyball. So there's beach volleyball, which is cool. There's indoor volleyball. I just like the uniforms in beach volleyball. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's track and field. Track and field is cool. Like, I, I want to see, like, the 100-meter the dash. I like the uniforms in track and field. <laughs> Do you like all the uniforms? What's your favorite color? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I uh, like what else do they got? They have shooting. R- female rugby? Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I like it. I don't want to see any WNBA chicks tossing each other around on the football field. Their skateboarding's part of the Olympics now? I don't like the uniforms in skateboarding, no. 
Wow. I don't know. I will watch skateboarding, I guess. I don't. What is, just who watches the Olympics? Is that really like something that we're doing right now? People watch. Do they? Yeah, it's important. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. They want to watch America get all the golds. That's I mean, Michael Phelps, bruh. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll admit that I felt a little bit of civic pride when I saw Michael Phelps bring home all those swimming uh, medals. Like, honestly, you were like, hell yeah, go America. <laughs> so I do I do get... The, it, my patriotism will let me get involved in that aspect of the Olympics. Is that when you're wearing that American flag Speedo around for a week? <laughs> I do that just for shits and gigs, man. <laughs> But I don't see myself like, I don't know. I can't see myself watching the Olympics. It's just never going to happen. I might watch a certain event, like I said, if the uniforms are good. Or if it's like something, you know, nothing's going on that day. But it's never going to really be my first choice. No, I feel you. Like, I uh, I noticed that on Peacock, they're doing, like, all the events, like, laid out. So I might go back and watch some, like, beach volleyball because I'm interested. Like, just put it on the background while I'm doing other stuff this week. You know, things like that. But... I do like I, the competition. It is kind of cool. I mean, it's like the world's best athletes from every... I mean, this is like the best of the best from every country. Yeah. Competing for like the best in the world um, stakes, man. Like, so, I mean, it's pretty cool, I guess. Who's right? the fastest runner? This guy. Who can pedal their bike the fastest? Who's juiced up the most that didn't get caught? Who can jump the highest with a stick? <laughs> I dude, mean, look. Pole vault is pretty freaking awesome, dude. Look, I don't want to belittle any of this, man. These are. These I know. Are, I'm hyped, and you're like, that's wasteful. These are great talents, man. And they are, you know, they're a lot of them are prodigies, and they deserve to be held at the highest regards. But I just, I just I don't care about the Olympics. I'm sorry. It's, I hope they're all safe. I hope that no more cables get burnt. Yeah. You know, like bus cables. Plane cables, car cables. Do you remember us doing a story a couple years ago? How about how about how they they brought like three hundred thousand condoms into the Olympics? Yeah, because they were everybody's out here just banging. Oh, speaking of which, I heard that on the same line as that. Uh, I heard that Grinder is actually limiting their some of their services because Grinder has like, and I only noticed because I read an article because uh-huh, of my account got blocked. Because <laughs> um, Grinder actually has like a, a system in it where it shows how close you are in distant relative distance to like a potential date if you guys make a connection or whatever. Um, they're limiting that service to try to uh, l- limit. The, I mean, the dudes who are just banging at the Olympics. Yeah, because there's gonna be a lot. There's man. a. It's um, gonna be a lot. There was some dating app I downloaded before that did that. It was. It told like how like they're like this person's one mile away from you or something like or I like mean, you Tinder. you cross paths with them this week or something like I was yeah. like this is weird. That is weird. Tinder kind of does that. It'll let you know like you can like set a distance on how far. And, like I yeah. guess I don't know. Plenty of fish kind of does that too. You can have a distance. Yeah, but like the one I was talking you. about did something where it was like if it was like yeah, it was something about like I think it used like your Google track like your Google tracking to like let you know if you've like no nah. cross path. I, I was like I'm deleting this. This is weird. This yeah, is that's like, this weird. was a long time ago, so it probably it didn't catch on. Obviously, I don't want my dating app to be an Apple Air tag. Follow me around, <laughs> dude. That's insane. Yeah, I'm sure if the, once the first person got stalked, they were like, oh, yeah, that's probably not good. I crossed paths with you twice this week. <laughs> oh, my God. How creepy. <laughs> um, dude, uh, they said, I also saw, speaking of the Olympics, they all of the mat, all the bed frames are made of cardboard. Like, they had Olympians showing videos on TikTok and shit. Are they doing that again? Yeah. Yep. They They're, did that at the, uh, what was it, the China Olympics, I think? Whatever last year. I think the, two years ago for the Winter Olympics or yeah. something. Yeah. But I guess for what they said is, like, it's actually very, it's, like, it's to be. Um, cost efficient? Well, not cost efficient. Um, to help with, like, because if not, they buy all those wooden beds and they just got to throw them away. Well, at least the cardboard they can recycle. Oh, because less, and like less wasteful. And I showed and they showed somebody on one of the videos like he got on the bed and he was like jumping up and down and like yeah. being really it's very sturdy cardboard like yeah. it's and you're only using it for like a week. So it's like they can just recycle it all when it's done and not have 300,000 beds. That's but, true. That's I mean, true. they could give them all to the homeless, but you know, whatever. Do they have homeless in France. I would I think so. They have homeless everywhere. The unhoused, Ooh, unhoused, unhomed unhomed yes yeah i don't know man but like i hope when this video comes out on monday that nothing has happened over the weekend and everything was wonderful yeah i hope nothing happens over the weekend famous last words 
Well, every time we talk about something on Friday, when we were trying to do the Drake news. Uh, that was impossible to keep up with, man. Over the weekend, they're like, here's 97 new songs. I know, right? So, but uh, you got anything else about the Olympics, man? Uh, uh, yeah, I like the uh, uniforms and the swimming as well. <laughs> okay. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.